What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back for another unboxing and review video. In today's video, I have the Python Patrol Officer. Let's open him up. Check him out. All right, so I know this figure has been dropping in other places, but it's just started dropping in my area. So uh, yeah, you know I'm gonna do a review on it. Uh, this thing is actually pretty cool looking. I'm actually really digging the the green, the neon on it. Um, yeah, this is really really cool. But uh, yeah, there's the box, you know, um, right there, Python Patrol. So yeah, this is this is neat. I'm really curious too. Once we get it out of the box, uh, the helmet. I want to see if the helmet comes off. I want to see what's underneath it because I'll let y'all in on a little secret. I got more than one of these. <laughs> I just what can I say? It's cool, but uh, yeah, I, I really I really dig this thing. So yeah, let me get my. My professional box opening equipment. Let's get it out of the box. I'm gonna show you in the clamshell. Oh wow, this is this is this is pretty legit cool. That's very legit. I uh, I'm I'm digging this. I'm digging this really good right now. So I tell you what, let me get it out of the clamshell, and we'll do uh, we'll do a closer look at this thing. All right, so we got the Python Patrol Officer out of the uh, clamshell, and look at all the stuff this thing comes with. Uh, tons of accessories. Uh, let's start over here. We actually have the uh, his main uh, rifle right here. Actually comes with the detachable clip right there, so that is very, very nice. I like the uh, little accent of green right there. That's a nice little touch, if I must say so myself. I like the fact that the magazine is detachable. That's very cool. Also comes with this uh, little sight right here, which is uh, interesting because the way it actually mounts is right here on the front, like so. I mean, uh, it's keyed a certain way. So let me make sure I have that right. Yeah. It just sort of slides in. Um, it's sort of weird. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That's a that's an interesting little uh, uh, little attachment from a functionality point of view. I don't really understand it, but hey, it's cool that we have that and we can have some fun with it. Next weapon right here. Again, very very nice. Got some good detail, but again, it lacks uh, some, you know, some silvers and stuff just to give it a little bit of contrast. It also comes with a magazine, I do believe, right there. Very, very cool. Uh, it comes with a interesting Han Solo blaster pistol. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. You put this go, it just does. It reminds me of it, but it's interesting. Uh, again, it's got some uh, got some good detail on it. Nothing wrong with that. It also comes with a very cool dagger for something uh, so small. I like the way the blade actually has a teardrop to it, which is very very nice. And of course, we have this sheath or a holster which actually has the uh, Cobra logo on it, which is very nice. I do believe this little bad boy fits in there like so. So that's cool. The figure itself, let's take a look at this bad boy. This thing is uh, legit. Mine is like crazy, crazy loose. Oh, and the helmet does come off. I mean, look at this. It is, it is crazy loose. All the joints. I mean, <laughs> what do you mean I'm loose? I'm not loose. What are you doing? This is just insane. How how loose this waist joint is. 
Uh, so yeah, look, articulation. Yeah. <laughs> He's, he definitely has some, uh, some really good articulation, um, head, lots of, well, it goes down, not much going back shoulders. Actually, um, yeah, that's about it, but wow. I just can't get over this. This might be the loosest figure I've ever gotten. I've never gotten one this crazy loose, but I did notice this, especially out of the box. I was talking about maybe, I was thinking it may need a little bit of a wash, but actually it does. It's got a little translucence to it. So you can see some shadowing, which is very, very nice. Uh, dig that. Yeah, waist pivot. Legs are good. They do have the, the hip joints that rotate down. Oh, yeah, look at that. Great, great articulation. Uh, I did notice this. This is a nice touch right here on the boots. So we transitioned from the, the black to the gray, but we got the silver on the buckles. That's very, very nice, both sides and on the bottom. That's a nice touch. That's a nice little detail. All right. So I was uh, looking through some things. So we got the, we got the dagger. And we got the pistol, which goes in here, like so. We got the magazine, rocked here. And let me get it in, wow. This is the good thing about it not being crazy tight. Is that going in there that far? Wow, it's not going in as far as I thought. This is cool, so this is for this little bad boy right here. That was uh, an interesting discovery. I do believe that's what it's for. It's definitely tight. I will give you that much. It's a, it's an awkward, there we go. So that's cool. That's cool that it actually has that. And we actually have the peg here for his, uh, Rear weapon, so very, very cool. The helmet, which I'm happy to see actually comes off because you could actually have a couple of these and guess what? You have an officer and you don't have an officer. Just saying. Or who says, I mean, honestly, what determines he's an officer? Other than the packaging, you know what I mean? So this could be normal troops. But there he is, right there. So let me get him posed up. Let me figure out what I can do with these loose joints. And uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, guys, there he is right there. Python patrol officer and actually broke out the Kubel wagon to sort of display with it because yeah, I think it's I think it works. Uh, but yeah, this is a cool figure. It is a very, very cool figure. Um, as you saw in the video, mine is extremely loose, but he still poses and I don't have any issues with it. And to be perfect honest with you, I don't, other than the it's crazy loose, I don't have an issue with this figure. I think this is a really good looking figure. I love the, the neon yellow green, the accessories. Yeah, this is a neat figure. Um, I like the fact that it's the, the way they did the buckles on the boots, the black, the grays. Yeah, it's it's a cool figure. And to be honest with you, you could army build these if you wanted to, because let's face it, the price point's better than anything else to army build. Um, it doesn't matter if there's the helmet or not. It doesn't matter if the, the box is the only thing that says he's an officer. I mean... Until until the other one comes out uh, to see the differences, but yeah, I think it's cool. I think it's a, a wonderful addition um, to the GI Joe stuff. Um, it's a different has a different feel to it, and that's the thing I think I like the most about it. You know, there's no blues or weird greens or well, you know what I mean. It's just it's really different, and I like it.
And uh, I'm glad I picked up a few of them. I'm really glad I did. And he goes good with the Kuba wagon, which is remote control, by the way. Um, so, yeah, there you go. Let me know in the comments. Are you picking up any of these uh, pythons? I want to know what your thoughts on them. I want to know if you're, you know, going to expand and and build a little army your, yourself. Uh, but yeah, give me your thoughts on this. Let me know what you think um, and how many you're going to get. I'm curious. So uh, yeah, I'm glad to see they're hitting in my area. And uh, yeah, can't wait to put him in the Kuba wagon and take him for a spin. But you never know. There might be a short video on that, so, which brings up the next topic. If you enjoy my content, do me a favor. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Because if you do subscribe, make sure and turn on notifications. If you turn on notifications, that way you'll know when I upload a video of a Python patrol officer in a Kuba wagon going down the road or over a hill or whatever. Uh, but you won't know unless you have the notifications turned on. Also, please read the descriptions of my videos. That way you'll know about information pertaining to my channel, my social media, things I review, where to get things. It's all in the description of the video. And finally, please always remember, toys refreshes your soul. And I'll see you next time.